So the Oracle time capsules have been added to this universe online today. So let us open a few Oracle time capsules. Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. So as I just mentioned, we got a new time capsule today. It's the Oracle's time capsule. So sadly for the Dark Multiverse time capsules, they no longer drop in the game. Now it's the Oracle time capsule that drops in the game. Uh, usually time capsules last for roughly eight weeks uh, basically we get a new time capsules every eight weeks it can be a bit more sometimes like uh, we got the dark multiverse uh, a bit longer like 12 weeks i think this time but usually uh, you can expect the, the time capsule to last for about eight weeks so you can see in the oracle time capsule we have the harley quinn chroma pack we have the avatar of peace uh, mask collection so it's a collection that should be 12 collection usually uh, it's 12 collections that allows you to have the the mask for our friend dove basically we got the mask for dove and we got the avatar of war cape collection which should be a set of collections to be able to get the cape from our friend hawk there's the network infiltrator accessory collection so it's an accessory that uh, i have no idea what it does if i if i can manage to complete the collection I'll try to show you there's the enhanced uh, prof prophetic gear that should be the oracle set of gear and there's also the prof prophetic gear so from what i understand the enhanced version of the prophetic gear is a reactive set of gear so it should basically uh, shine brighter when you enter in combat uh, if i manage to complete when i manage to complete the gear i'll make a video about it and i'll try to show it and of course you get you get a whole bunch of stuff like ant metal source marks quarks and more. Uh, sadly, the Harley Quinn Chroma Pack seems to be the uber rare item in the time capsule. Normally, I would say that uh, I'm not really lucky with time capsules, so I never, in the past, I never got the uber rare item. But uh, with the Dark Multiverse time capsule, I was really, really uber lucky. Like, I even was lucky afterwards with the booster bundles. So the last two, a couple of times, we, I was really, really lucky. Uh, but I don't expect to be here today again, but we'll see. Uh, basically, I'm going to open 20... I have 22 stabilizers, uh, but I only have 20 Oracle Time Capsule. If you wonder how I was able to get so many Time Capsules so fast, seeing that this is the first day, I have a lot of characters. A lot of my characters were overdue to be able to get a Time Capsule. So quite simply, I logged in with one character, defeat an enemy, get the Time Capsule. Rinse and repeat until I got 20 Time Capsules. It's pretty much that simple. If you don't want to go through that trouble, if you don't have as many characters as I have, the other way you can get the Oracle Time Capsules is from the Marketplace. So if you look in the Marketplace, you go to the Supplies, you'll see the Unlocked Oracle Time Capsule. So let's do a quick preview. So if you want to get an Oracle Time Capsules, it's basically $1 per Time Capsule. Here it's 90 Marketplace cash because I'm a subscriber, so I get 10% off. But if you are not a subscriber, it's going to be 100 Marketplace cash, so roughly a dollar. Oh, and also, there's I forgot to mention that, if you open 15 uh, Oracle Time Capsules, you will get the Orbital BOP uplink device. We'll take a look at that and, uh, once I open that. Uh, we're going to open 20 time capsules, so I should be able to show you the uplink device. Of course, if you don't want to purchase, uh, I would strongly suggest just purchase the time capsules from the marketplace. You could just purchase stabilizers. It's You don't save uh, that much. You save a tiny bit of money if you purchase 20 stabilizers as opposed to purchasing uh, 20 Oracle time capsules already unlocked. Like the time capsules you purchase here are unlocked, so you just open them. Or you purchase stabilizers and open the time capsules that drop in the game. It's pretty much that simple. There is also the stabilizer fragmentation that allows you to be able to get the stabilizer fragments that will give you free stabilizers in the long run. So I was able to gather 22 stabilizers with the free stabilizer mission, but it took me quite a while. Basically, I was really, as I mentioned, I was uber lucky with the multiverse, the dark multiverse time capsules. Uh, with roughly 20 time capsules, I had pretty much everything I wanted. So I did not have to open that many or that many dark multiverse time capsules. I may have opened a few other time capsules as time went by, but as you can see, I was able to still gather 22 stabilizers. So we are going to open 20 Oracle time capsules today. So again, once you open 15 of them, we'll get the orbital BOP uh, uplink device. And uh, let us see what else uh, we can get today. Um, I, maybe we'll be lucky, but usually I'm not that lucky. And with a bit of luck, I'll get the Harlequin uh, Chroma Pack. I guess we'll have to find out. 
So we got the encryption device, uh, the man hunter emblem. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's a whole bunch of emblems that we got. That we got some like birds of prey, various birds of prey emblems. Um, I'll probably go for the, uh, the the gear should be simple enough to get or easier to get. The collection sadly are freaking usually expensive on the broker, so I'll probably try to complete at least some of the collections as early as I can. Obviously, with 20 time capsules, uh, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to complete a single collection. But I'll try to get as many collections as I can. So the War Drums uh, focused aggression. So we got the Enhanced uh, Bird of Prey Emblem. Uh, and the Gauntlet. So uh, things like Gauntlets or Boots, usually you get a lot of those. So I, I wouldn't choose them at first. Choose them once you have gathered a whole bunch of other stuff. So, and I'm, okay, I'm, I'm uh, collecting the collections right now so that I can uh, easily see if I do have the collection or not when we choose the gear. It's pretty much that simple. So as you saw, it's, it's, uh, you need 12 collections for each of the collection. So this one is inner piece. I, I suspect this is for the dove uh, mask. Again, as you can see, we got another, again, uh, some other gauntlets. We got a misfit emblem, but we'll go for the book of uh, mid We'll go for the collection. Uh, uh, Unless I, I see something that might seem to be uh, rare, I'll, I'll take the collection by default. Or if I already have the collection, then I'll, I'll try to choose something else. So here we got the Calming uh, Candle, we got the prof Prophetic uh, Leg Plate Box. Uh, yeah, I'm tempted to go for the, bo the, the legs. Uh, let's go for the legs. Oh, we got... What seems to be a rare or semi-rare uh, collection, so let's go for that. And just for the fun of it, let's take a quick look and see what the uh, what the collection is worth on the broker. So right now, it's not a collection that's all that uh, that valuable. Like you can see, uh, you can get it for three million. I know that three million may sound like a lot of money, but uh, at some point, once you figure out how to play the broker. It is not that much money. So, as you can see, we already got that collection. So let's try to go for something we don't have. Let's go for the Enhanced but Bird of Prey Emblem. Well, let's collect it right away. So as you can see, there's also a feed for getting uh, that emblem. A bit of lag. There we go. So we got the Oracle Emblem, the Lavender Rain music. If I trust this, it would suggest that the Oracle Emblem is, uh, sem is somewhat rare. Well, let's go for that emblem. Probably should go for the collection, but uh, we'll see. So network mapping chip, Man Hunter Emblem, or the belt. The belt will probably get a whole bunch of belts. Usually belts are a dime a dozen almost. So this game we're starting to get uh, two out of twelve. So again, with twenty time capsules, uh, there's no way that I'll be able to complete uh, a single collection. Uh, let's go for the uh, decisions. Decisions. Uh, let's go for the emblem. Probably should have taken the piece of gear, but oh well. So again, another collection, the Misfit Emblem, the Enhanced Belt, uh, let's go for the collection. So total, there's like 36 collections, so obviously with only 20 time capsules, the odds of getting all the collections, not very good. Ideally, you want to use the broker, so we got the, leg, uh, the legs again. Uh, we already got the legs, but uh, let's go for the the emblem. Uh, let's go for the legs again. I'm not sure why. Normally, those would stack. Uh, I'm not sure why they're not stacking. I won't complain. It's a bit annoying uh, when they do stack, so I'll take it. Oh, we got the Enhanced uh, Prophetic Helmet. Looks like something that would be somewhat rare. So let's go for that. Let's move it here. So 
So the, we already have the Black Canary emblem, the boots, uh, we should pro we'll probably get a lot of, uh, of those boots, so let's take uh, the collection. Again, we need like 36 collections, so may as well try to take as many as I can. Oh, oh we've unlocked uh, 15 time capsules, so I suspect we might get uh, something by mail. So again, we already got the Black Canary Emblem, we got the collection. Uh, let's go for the belt, we don't have the belt uh, just yet. So we have uh, five... Oh. So we still have five time capsules to open, so let's do that. Oh, we got a helmet again. Uh, tempting to go for the Big Barda Emblem, but uh, uh, let's go for the helmet. So we got the regular version of the helmet, and we got the enhanced version of the helmet. And we got a new follower, uh, the PlayStation is telling me. So again, we got the boots. Uh, let's go for the collection. So you saw the, the Huntress emblem is another emblem we can get. So sadly, with 12 collections, with each of the collections, you are going to have to open a lot of time capsules to be able to complete the collections, or you are going to have to play the broker quite a lot. Uh, personally, I prefer to play the broker. By now, I'm very much used to it. Uh, the gloves would be tempting. Well, let's go for the gloves uh, this time. I'm curious to see what the enhanced uh, style looks like. So this is our last uh, time capsule. So we got the Enhance Black Canary. We had the Aikido Technique. Um, at this point, hard to tell which would be the more rare one. Uh, so the Aikido Technique seems to be worth about 5 million. And the NS Black Canary Emblem seems to be worth about 12 million, so we'll go for that. So let us consume the NS Black Canary Emblem. Again, as you saw, it gave us a, a little feat. And uh, let's consume, let's use uh, some of the gear. Uh, as you can see, the gear will scale with the level of your character. The minimum item level for the gear is level 10, but it will scale to a maximum of 252. Right now, the damage lantern gear I have is 255. So the gear, the gear won't, won't really be good for my character, but uh, it'll be good to be able to get the styles. Of course, we could take a look at how much the gear is uh, worth on the broker. So you can see the enhanced helmet is worth about 9 million, as opposed to the regular helmet, which will be worth about uh, 6 million. The belt, about 2 millions, or somehow the, the regular belt seems to be more expensive than the enhanced one. It's a bit strange, but it happens uh, from time to time. So you can see the pants are worth about uh, 3 million. The enhanced pants are about uh, 8 million, uh, 8.5. And last but not least, the gloves are about 4, almost 5 million. So before we try on some of, some of the gear, you can see that we have mail. That's from opening 15 uh, Oracle Time Capsules. So it sent us an orbital strike. So let us accept. Cost 100 quarks. It might be for sale at the quarks vendor. We'll go take a look at that in just a minute. So let's equip it, and let's go test it out. So let us see what happens. <laughs> That's a pretty cool effect. Uh, sometimes I'll add some of the rewards here to the Quarks vendor, like you can see the bubble gum from the Shazam time capsule uh, for 100 Quarks. So I suspect the orbital strike that we just saw 
uh, will also be added at some point for 100 quarks on the quarks vendor. So if somehow you don't want to open 15 Oracle time capsules for reasons, eventually you should probably be able to purchase the orbital strike from the quarks vendor. So now let's uh, consume some of the styles. So you can choose between uh, controller or DPS. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to use that gear anyway. So we have the headpiece, the NN's headpiece. We have the ANS gloves. We got the pants. And we got the belt. So let's, let's equip all that just to get the style. So as you saw, the style is uh, 252 for my character. So the gear itself is not really worth it for me. And the style is called the Combat Protocol. So let us see what the style looks like. So as you can see, even the regular version of the belt and the headpiece have some uh, shiny bits. Actually, even the legs have some shiny bits uh, on them. Some of the gloves are supposed to be the Anans gloves, but they seem to be a bit less shiny than the belt uh, somehow. Let's try the Anans version of the headpiece. So here we have the Anans version of the headpiece uh, for comparison. So somehow the regular version seems to be shining a bit more, but from what I understand the NN's version are supposed to be uh, reactive. So once we enter in battle, I guess they'll start shining a bit more. Uh, once I manage to complete the whole style, I will make a video about the style and we'll test out uh, how, how much the style is reactive or not. And of course, if somehow you don't get enough Oracle Time Capsule in the game, as you can see right now, you can purchase them for roughly 2 million. Or if somehow you do not want to use the Oracle Time Capsule, uh, some of you guys I know are dead set against uh, Time Capsule, and that's fine, you, you don't have to, to enjoy those Time Capsule. Well, you can at least sell them on the broker for right now roughly 2 million. Obviously the price will go down as time goes by, but right now you can make a bit of cash with your Oracle's Time Capsule if you do not want to open them. I've seen people who foolishly just delete them. Don't, don't delete them, just sell them on the broker. You'll make a, you'll make a bit of cash. So sadly, the Harley Quinn Chroma Pack is the uber rare item that uh, should come from those time capsules. If I do manage to get the oral Harley Quinn Chroma Pack, uh, I'll make a video about that. But usually I don't get those rare items. Uh, the, the Neon Chroma Material was uh, pretty much the exception of the exception. Uh, what I usually end up having to do with those items is either I have to buy them from the broker or I have to buy them from, uh, like uh, the, 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 the Wings of Sins. I had to buy the Wings of Sins from our friend uh, Booster Gold uh, because I wasn't able to get the rare collection for that. Or the same with the, the Star Heart Orbital Strike. Although for the Star Heart, I, sh I could have been able to purchase it from the broker at some point. Didn't really care for it at the, at the time. And uh, I ended up buying it later on uh, from Booster Gold. So if I manage to complete uh, any of the collections, I'll try to make a video about uh, the reward you get from those collections. Uh, once I manage to complete the, either the prophetic gear or the enhanced prophetic gear, I'll make a video about that. And of course, if I'm uber lucky and manage to get the Harley Quinn Chroma Pack, uh, I'll make a video about that. If not, well, uh, so sad, it happens. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And let's see what I can do about answering your questions. So that is uh, pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.